this playoff thing sounds like both sides are all in on more games in the playoffs. It sounds like the NFLPA, the NFL are both very excited about other another team being added to each side. Am I right with that? That was one of the first things that the sides were in agreement on. You can go back and read the story that Ian Rappaport and I wrote in mid-August. They had like five bargaining sessions, and one of the things that was very clear was both sides were open to expanding the playoff field, going to 14 teams, in part because then that would make up the lost revenue for cutting the preseason to three games. I had a talk with Mark Murphy about that at the November meetings, and he said it's just not a good product. Why, why would we want to have a bad product out there uh, like the preseason is now? So you shrink that down, you make up the revenue in terms of those extra couple of playoff games, and then that in turn means by going to the 17th game, the way that everybody involved looks at it is that becomes pure profit. Tom, I'm going to show you something that I said in June of last year. Okay, I just want June, I believe, sixth, 2019. This is what I said, probably after reading an article from you and Mr. Rappaport. <laughs> I've always said this when it comes to the number of games thing for the NFL, which is always going to be a topic of discussion because there's so much money on the line, both TV wise, stadium revenue. You're talking about everything. There is so much money on the line for adding games because you're adding a concert. You're adding a, a whole nother concert for the band to perform at. And it's not just a concert that's that's live in person in front of 70,000 people sold out, guaranteed for sure. It's also being streamed to millions of people paying millions of dollars for this whole thing. I mean, it is a massive financial decision to add a game or lose a game. I've always said this. Make it. Let's meet in the middle. Let's make it 17 games. Let's add a bye week. So it is officially 19 weeks. So there's two bye weeks, 17 games. Get rid of a preseason game or two so that you have like two real preseason games that third preseason game treat it like it's the aafl treat it like it's the xfl it's just tryout guys bubble guys anyways give them that game but make sure fans know that this is going to be basically a scrimmage between <laughs> players that aren't going to make this team or special teamers add a bye week have 17 games and let's just and keep it moving going forward. Let's add a let's in proportion add to the salary of everybody. So you literally take no money out of anybody's pocket for another performance. Pay them for the bye week as well, and just keep it moving. Then we add an extra game. It's not 18, which is what the NFL wants. It doesn't stay at 16, which is what the players want. But it's a nice win-win for everybody. Tom, did the NFL and the NFLPA play that <laughs> clip? You think during their conversations? It's pretty smart. I gotta say, there's a lot of logic. <laughs> That went into that uh, that conversation. Uh, that all has been discussed, too. Adding the second bye has definitely been discussed. The thing is that the 17 games is not going to happen immediately. That's going to be a lever that the owners can pull. They haven't negotiated the new TV deals yet. So in those TV deal conversations, that's where they're going to figure out, okay, when do we want this? When's the most logical time? Is it going to be, as my colleague Mike Silver reported, maybe 2022? That gives you two years to figure out the logistics of this. If you went to the second bye, you could potentially have the Super Bowl on President's Day weekend eat up another chunk of the calendar before everybody gets excited about the combine.